Warning, spiders. Grounded is my bloody nightmare. It's a Hieronymus Bosch painting of exhaustion, despair, hopelessness, and confusion. And I ain't just talking about the giant friggin' spiders. I'm lucky enough to not have, um, you know, arachnophobia to such a degree that the sight of a spider in a video game bothers me. In fact, if you do have uh, arachnophobia of any level, there is an arachnophobia setting in this game so that you can make the spiders look less like spiders so they won't be as scary. If you do have arachnophobia though, I reckon you could not bother with that filter because the best cure for arachnophobia is replacing your fear with an absolute seething murderous hatred. And that is exactly how you will feel about spiders after you've been one hit killed by a wolf spider you didn't see coming for about the 10th fucking time. Grounded is, at its core, just another fairly generic survival game. It's got all of the hits, it's got everything you'd expect to gather resources, craft shit, you know, you gotta craft a workbench, you gotta craft a storage chest and a bed, and you can craft little weapons, you can chop down trees, although in this case the trees are blades of grass, because the, the general conceit, and it is a cute conceit, in a game that I will admit is rather fun, but the cute conceit is the whole honey I shrunk the kids vibe, you are little shrunk in a garden, so spiders are big, and blades of grass are like the trees. It's very exciting, until you're one hit killed by a wolf spider that dropped on your fucking head. So yes, Grounded is a fairly generic, if we're being honest, survival game with one major difference. This one fucking hates you. It hates you as much as it loves spiders, and it bloody loves spiders. They are everywhere. Spiders are capable of one-hit killing you, even after you get some armor upgrades and stuff. And they're, they're not, like, secluded anywhere. They're not, like, in dark, scary areas. They are everywhere. You could start building a base using the really quite bad building mechanics in this game where nothing you try to place actually lands where it should and you can't get walls or ceilings or floors to align properly. The game's also in early access by the way so hopefully a lot of that will get fixed but anyway. You could be happily or as happily as you can try in this game be building a base not realizing that spiders are watching and waiting in the wings to smash up everything you've built and murder you by kicking you in your fucking face. And that's just the spider. Spiders. All the other insects in this garden are a bunch of fucking assholes as well. In fact, I wrote a series of tweets when I was playing this game the other day and I thought I'd read them out to you because they perfectly encapsulate the grounded experience. By the way, I enjoy this game. <laughs> Weirdly, even though the core of it is super generic and stuff I'm really sick of, I think the whole Honey I Shrunk the Kids vibe is just a, a really, um, maybe it's just a compelling enough hook to keep me interested. But anyway, this is the series of tweets that will tell you what this game is all about. 4.56 p.m. I am playing Grounded and I am currently being robbed. Fucking robbed by a gang of ants and they know they can beat me up if I try and stop them. This is pure humiliation. Yes, at this point I'd built myself a little basket to keep my items in and I'd put some, um, I, I guess, nectar in there or something. A bunch of ants turned up and they started busting it open and they scattered everything I'd put in there out and stole stuff. And then I tried to fight them and there were loads of them and they killed me and just robbed me anyway. So that was 4.56 p.m. Now I'll read the rest of the tweets. 5.01 p.m. I'm living in a nightmare. They fucking looted my storage container, the little Tory shits. 5.03 p.m. They've all fucked off now. I'm livid. 5.06 p.m. One came back. Big fucking mistake. Now I have ant parts. Oh, that bit felt sweet. 5.26 p.m. And now a group of lava turned up and smashed what I'd built. 
Why is this game doing this to me? 5.30 p.m. By the way, none of this is worse than any single spider in the game. They outclass everything in terms of ruining my life. I used to like bugs. 5.35 p.m. A spider just smashed the door I'd rebuilt. 5.40 p.m. The door won't go back where it was without me rebuilding everything around it. I'm convinced the building aspect is an elaborate troll. 5.53 p.m. Wait a minute, you can make a weevil-faced gas mask. I'm back in. That pretty much uh, sums up the exhaustion and the tragedy that is playing Grounded. <laughs> but seriously, the game is, you know, it's as fun as a survival game is. It's bright and colourful, I really do like the whole shrunk down idea. It's a great idea that I think is a little bit wasted on a commoner garden seven days to die light, but, you know, it's still fun. And the insects are cute when they're not ruining your life. It's sweet when you, like, steal a, a crumb from a hot dog that an ant was eating and then the ant looks up at you quizzically and you're, you think to yourself, I want to pet that ant or ride it, like in the film with Rick Moranis in it, and, and just live my life with this ant. And then you realise that you need the ant's head to craft an ant head trophy. So you smash the ant in its fucking head. And if you do feel guilty about that, don't worry. At some point, the ants will mug you. And you'll feel all of that guilt dissipate like water off a hog's back in the sun. Despite being completely sick of survival games and grounded doing everything it can to irritate me in all of the ways I'm most acutely irritated, I have spent an unreasonable number of hours playing this thing. And I, I'm really not sure I can tell you why. It's completely imbalanced. The building doesn't work correctly. It's not particularly funny with its dialogue. The character quips are annoying. It's available on Game Pass, and I could recommend playing it on that, but I couldn't currently recommend buying it, not while it's in early access. Obviously, the building aspect needs to be severely overhauled and improved first. They really could stand to do something to give these spiders a, a little more of a reining in so you don't feel like they are literally everywhere. The problem with the sheer ubiquity of the spiders is they very, very, very quickly stop being legitimately scary. They're not terrifying. It's the whole slender eight pages situation where you're trying to collect these eight pages. You're just trying to do something and you're being stalked by a monster that is at first genuinely scary, but soon gets in your way and hampers your progress so much you stop being afraid of them. Not helped by the fact that they do keep turning up, thus detonating any mystery they might have had. Familiarity can breed contempt and it can also nuke fear, at least when it comes to antagonists in video games. But despite all of this complaining, despite the fact that this game keeps kicking me in the teeth and destroying things I build, and just going out of its way to ruin my weekend, I actually had a pretty decent weekend playing it. The survival elements, while generic, do work, and there are fun things to build. I mean, like I said, you can make a gas mask out of weevils and stink bugs. That alone has me suckered. And it really is that creative application of the game's conceit to the traditional crafting elements that give it just enough of a mildly inventive hook in a direction that appeals to me to get me moderately invested in playing it. That's praise couched in a lot of qualification and explanation, but that really is the only way you can recommend Grounded right now. It is, as, I, as I've said, as I've stressed, it's, it's a work in progress. I am interested to see where it goes. There are a lot of directions you can take this. As I said, there's not a lot of interactions with the other insects right now outside of combat and using their body parts, but I'd be interested in, in the directions you can take that. It's something that sets your imagination going. Like, I would love the ability to farm the land and actually make an insect farm. Do that, Obsidian, please. Right now, Grounded is a mishmash of old ideas packaged in a fresh, well, package. And like many sufficiently high-profile early access games, it's got a bucket of potential. Whether that potential is realised is something that remains to be seen. And whether I, who's someone, you know, I'm someone who's got a life and I've got to move on, I've, I've always got tons of projects, I can't stay focused on one game forever. So whether this game keeps me hooked long enough for major updates and, and more imaginative things to come, that remains to be seen. I feel like I've already mined the, the entertainment value of the content that's already there. But if you've got Game Pass, absolutely give it a try. Absolutely. And Obsidian, if you ever do make an ant-driven chariot in this game, let me know and I will be right back.